What's up, YouTube? So, yep, you read the title correctly. I have officially moved everything out of this apartment with the exception of my clothes, as you can see back there, and some of the stuff that I have downstairs in my office. So, let me explain. So right now I live in Buffalo, New York, and there's two main reasons for that. Reason number one is because of my job. This is where my job is located, and I'm typically on the road every single day out seeing customers. Reason number two is because this is where my family is. I obviously have my two parents, and then I have my four brothers and sisters who are all in Buffalo, New York, and so it's super, super nice to be in close proximity to all of them and to be able to see them whenever I want to. So because of my job, you're probably wondering how I could possibly be moving away from Buffalo. And well, there's this little thing called coronavirus going on, and as a result of that, I haven't actually been able to see any of my customers or do anything on the road for the past almost, I think, three months now? Maybe it's been two months, I'm not really sure. And so as a result of that, I've been doing all of my business and all of my work over Zoom calls and phone calls and just over email and things like that. I actually haven't had to interact with anybody in person for the past like two months for work. So because I can pretty much work from anywhere, what I've decided to do is move down to my parents' lake house, which is pretty much in the middle of absolute nowhere and you've seen this place a million times in my past videos i've been there last summer we were there like every single weekend and i think in the last video we spent some time there but i've been there a ton and there are a ton of really awesome photographic opportunities down there whereas in buffalo not so much so i'm super excited for that because i love the landscape photography opportunities down at my parents lake house and it's going to be super nice being able to crash there obviously i'm super lucky to have that opportunity but it's going to be super clutch this summer because obviously that's where I want to be for the summertime anyways. So over the next couple of days, the plan is to finish up moving all my stuff down to the lake house. But we have one issue, and I'm about to show you it right now. Look at this gigantic beanbag. This is going to be a problem. So being the type of person that I am, I guess, I was searching the internet for a beanbag chair and literally bought the largest beanbag that you can purchase on the internet. This thing is literally like eight feet wide by two feet tall, and I think it's 200 pounds of memory foam. I have no idea how I'm gonna move this thing to the lake house, but to be honest, I think that's just a problem for next weekend. So we've actually managed to get some decent spring weather today. I think it's like 65 degrees outside, which is probably the nicest day that we've had so far in 2020. So rather than sitting on this beanbag for the entire day and playing video games, I think I'm gonna get my ass outside and we're gonna make some photos. today is to keep it pretty simple. I think I'm going to drive around quite a bit to a couple different places that I think there's going to be some cool spring activity going on at. I know that there's a couple parks around here where flowers and things like that start to bloom around this time of year. So we're going to drive around, check out a couple of those places, and the camera we're shooting with today is this guy right here, the Leica MD. This is the camera, or the Leica rather, that doesn't have any back screen, and so it really emulates what shooting a film like is kind of like. Obviously, it doesn't have the same quality or image characteristics as film does, but it really emulates a similar shooting experience. So I really like that camera, and we're just gonna spend some time really driving around, trying to find a couple cool spots, making photos with the Leica, and of course, I'm gonna document it along the way. This is the reason why I came here. As you can see on me, both sides, the ground is covered in these yellow and green flowers and leaves, and it looks awesome. It is 
arguably the most difficult place to like pick out a composition because it's so messy with like falling over trees and things like that but i'm gonna figure something out because this is awesome right here i came here i think like two years ago and have not visited since so i'm super pumped to explore this place a little bit and figure out what kind of photos we can make here I really like this composition here behind me, but I'm a little bit concerned about it because I don't have a polarizer for this lens. There is so much glare coming off of the sun and then reflecting off of the leaves and the flowers on the ground that it makes such a big difference between not having a polarizer and having a polarizer. So I just, I can show you a clip right here of non-polarized versus polarized on this composition with this camera right here. If you spin your variable ND filter, it actually will polarize the ground or polarize whatever is in the scene. A lot of people don't know that tip, but a variable ND filter actually is in and of itself a polarizer. So I'll show you a before and after of non-polarized and polarized on this composition. And it makes such a big difference. So I don't know what I'll be able to do in post or in Lightroom uh, with these photos, but I think they're going to come out all right. And to be honest, I'm going to take a backup photo real quick with this camera just in case it doesn't come out good. <laughs> All right, guys, you're gonna think I'm an idiot, <laughs> but I'm actually going home right now to get some different camera gear. So I initially was planning on just coming here and having it be like very minimalistic setup, just bringing my camera to record and then my Leica to take photos with. But as soon as I got here and started taking photos, I realized that I really needed a polarizer. And I don't have a polarizer on my Leica. And then I'm walking around and as you can see, this area is incredible, by the way polarizer let's see if we can spin this to polarize it that's how much of a difference it makes when you polarize the ground look at how much more vibrant the ground is behind me now that i just spun the polarizer a little bit i definitely need a longer lens and i need a polarizer oh that's what i was about to say is i've been walking around kind of trying fi trying to find compositions and i've realized that i want something that's longer than 35 millimeters which j this maxes out at and then my leica maxes out at 50 millimeters and I want something longer than both of those lenses. So I'm gonna go back to my house, I'm gonna grab the 24 to 105, I'm gonna throw it onto this camera, I'm gonna grab my polarizer, and then we're gonna come back. Let's do it. All right, so we are back in the woods. As you can see, I got my tripod set up right behind me and I'm aiming in between these two trees. And I'll show you exactly what the composition looks like with another clip so that you can see why I came back to this spot. And so I went back to my house and I got a different lens. I got my 24 to 105 millimeter and I'm at right now, let me check. I gotta see exactly what focal length I'm at. I'm at about 70 millimeters right now on the 24 to 105. And so definitely longer than the 50 millimeter that I had on my Leica and certainly longer than the 15 to 35 millimeter that I had on my EOS R previously. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now with no polarizer and then with a polarizer because it makes such a big difference. And keep in mind that these photos that I'm showing you are completely unedited. I wanna show you like the raw output from the camera when it has a polarizer on and when it doesn't have a polarizer on it because it makes such a big difference when the sun is out like this and the sun is reflecting off of leaves on the ground like it is right now. So the main reason that I came back to this spot specifically is because it's an awesome composition that kind of shows a nice leading line going through the forest. And so as you can see right here, I'm standing on this path that's kind of like a deer path, I think. I think that deer run, and run up and down this path. And so it's kind of got this like little carving in between all of the flowers where it's just dirt and you can kind of see where it's indented. And then it runs straight between these two trees that are kind of leaning into one another. And so it's kind of like a portal into the rest of the forest, I guess. And so then I took my camera and I composed it between these two trees. You can see my camera over there and it's facing between this tree right here and then this tree right here. And then all the way down there, you can see the two trees that are leaning into one another with the path going through the middle of them. And so that's why I chose this composition. And I was so excited to drive all the way back to my house and grab another lens so I could really get this shot. So 
So I walked around the woods for like an hour trying to find another composition and it is incredibly difficult here to find like a really solid, simple composition like the first one that I showed you guys. And so what I decided to do was come back to the original spot and I decided to shoot it at a more telephoto focal length, which is what I wanted to do in the first place to really get a lot of compression on this walkway. So I took the USR with 24 to 105, zoomed all the way into 105 millimeters. I used my circular polarizer on the front to take a little bit of glare out of the grass and uh, the leaves and the flowers in the foreground. And this is what the photo came out like. Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here. This one was super, super fun to make. I love these kind of like photography, behind the scenes type vlogs. And I think that this is kind of where I wanna take the channel. I wanna start talking a little bit less about gear. Yes, I will still talk about gear periodically, but I wanna focus more so on actually taking photos. These videos are absolutely the most fun videos to make. And I plan on doing all sorts of travel this year so I can make awesome photography videos just like this one. All right, so I definitely gotta get myself home because today is Sunday and this video is actually due on YouTube today. Not that there's actually like a due date for my videos or anything like that, but I do try to upload at least once a week and I uploaded last Sunday, so now I gotta upload this Sunday. And so I'm in a little bit of trouble. It's 4.45 PM right now. I'm gonna drive home, gonna get, into the, get in front of the computer right away and start editing. As always guys, thank you a ton for watching the video. If you enjoyed this content, definitely go down below and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out a ton. Also, if you're interested in seeing more photography related content from me, definitely go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you get a notification every time that I upload a new video. I'd appreciate it big time. I upload a content like this every single week and I'll plan on seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.